Now, how do you figure out the ions? For that, remember a simple thing. Overall charge is zero. So compounds and elements are neutral. That is the rule that you need to remember. That the overall charge is zero. So let's try to figure out the ions that make different compounds up. So I'm going to write the formula and we'll try to figure out the ions. So we'll start with a simple one. Okay. So this one is pretty straightforward. We just look in the periodic table. We'll be like, okay, magnesium is plus two in the periodic table. Cl is minus one from the periodic table. Why? Magnesium is, if this is zero and this is eight, magnesium is at two, Cl is at seven. So this will lose two, this will gain one. So what are my form? My ions Mg plus two and Cl minus one. So the name will be magnesium chloride because that is the name of the ions. So again, formula, char ions, name or name, ions, formula. Let's try one more. You do this. So yeah, you're right. Beridium, Beridium nitride. nitride. Excellent. Because now we'll write the formula. So Be group two, so plus two. And min minus three because group five. So five needs three electrons. Be needs to lose two electrons. So the name is going to be beryllium. I think there's two L's in it. Uh, if you make a spelling mistake in O levels or IGCSE, you don't lose marks. Unless it, it means something else chemically. So for example, if you need to write nitrogen and you write nitride, that is not a spelling mistake. That's a chemistry mistake. But if you write nitride with two R's, that's fine. You won't lose marks. So everybody clear with this? That How do you do this example? Let's take it one step forward. I have uh, this compound. Now in this one, I don't know what the charge on iron is because iron is a transition metal. But what I do know is the charge on nitrogen. Why? Because nitrogen is group five. So I can figure out, okay, nitrogen is group five. So it should gain three electrons minus three. So what's the charge on iron? Remember, compounds and elements are neutral. Overall charge should be zero. So if this is minus three, to cancel it out, I will need plus three. And that's why this is plus three. So I'll say this is iron three. Remember, it's a transition metal, so you have to name it nitride. So I figured out the ions. I have iron three here and I have nitride here. Okay, you do this one. Okay, so let's try to figure this out. We don't know the charge on copper, but we do know that oh, oxygen is minus two. Because again, oxygen group six needs two electrons, so minus two. Okay, so what should copper be? Plus two. So the whole thing, this all of the copper should be plus two to cancel this minus two out. So if two copper is plus two, one will be plus one. Because they can have a total charge plus two hai, or do he atom hai, to ka charge kya wa? that two divided by two. So plus one. And that's a tricky part here. So now let's name it. This is copper one. Why copper one? Because it's got charge minus plus one. Remember, ye number hume batate hai, how many they are. I mean, is number when you're naming it. So copper one oxide. And that's how you name it. 